Hey guys, it's your boy Kurt Bears, and welcome back to my Liverpool career mode. And I am so, 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 I am really, really sorry. You like you do not know how sorry I am that my first Liverpool Krim of feel back in on YouTube and forever and me being the genius that I am forgot to turn my mic on so I could actually record my vo commentary over the game. Oh my god. Christ, <laughs> a disaster, and it was the, it was the only one. I did a ton of videos for you guys last week, you know, I, I did, and not one of her had no commentary on it. It was only this one. It was only the first. Liverpool career mode video, and of course it would be the first Liverpool mode video. Anyway, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna re-talk about what I wanted to talk about in that. Well, I don't know. I can't really talk about what I wanted to talk about because what I wanted to talk about in the first video was how Seth Blatter was destroying FIFA, but since then Blatter has thankfully resigned, so I can't really talk about he's destroying FIFA because he's gone. And his dumbass fucking resigned finally, and finally now the World Cup will be replaced, will be re relocated to a country that can actually hold it and maybe can actually compete because Qatar do not have a football team. Him, him. They barely have players. In fact, I don't know any Qatar or national players that play in any league. I don't even know if there's a Qatar League. There's definitely not one in FIFA. Uh, yeah. That that should have been a dead giveaway how corrupt EA were. I mean, not EA, FIFA were. I just associate the two because EA make FIFA the game. Well, EA are corrupt as well. I mean, we, we all know they love their... They love their... They love the moolah. Oh, they love the moolah. Just filling their pockets with that shit. It just like their bum buddies, FIFA. And you know, it's it's about time that Sepler her was no longer FIFA president. I mean, the man knows knows knew nothing about football. He knew nothing about football. I'm pretty sure. Or if you asked Blatter when he took over. What how football was? He'd probably he he tell you it was some sort of game, but he probably wouldn't be able to tell you how it's played, what are the rules, or anything else like that. I guarantee you, he knew absolutely nothing, and he still knows nothing because he gave the World Cup to Qatar. What EA sh what no I keep I said EA again I'm sorry. What FIFA should do is what they should do is have the World Cup location depend on who wins it. That's the best way to determine who should host the next World Cup. Because then only deserving countries is and only the countries with good foot all in national teams. teams will be able to host it. Like, the next World Cup, no offense to Russia, but the next World Cup should be in Germany. Since Germany won the World Cup, it should be in Germany. And, it should, and the Qatar World Cup should be decided by whoever wins the 2018 World Cup. Whoever wins that World Cup should host, host, to get the honor to host the 2022 World Cup. And, I mean, the hosts very rarely win. I mean, you'd have to look back a long time to the last time the hosts won the World Cup when they were hosting. 
I don't think it's happened in my lifetime. If it has, I don't remember it. It's... If anyone knows, when was the last time... Uh, I know England's 1966 World Cup win was in England. I know that for that much. But I can't... I know there were, like, early instances of it, but I, I can't remember when the last one was. When was the last time... The hosts won the World Cup when they hosted it. Because normally, the hosts don't do very well. Granted, Brazil got to the semifinals. And then, in Germany, took a big fucking steaming dump on them. And just humiliated them. Brazil will say it was freaking Mick Jagger's fault somehow. I'm not sure how that works out. I'm pretty sure they're just making excuses because they lost after all the build-up. But, I can't remember the last time the host country actually won the World Cup. And uh, if any of you could tell me, please, let me know in the comments below because it would be... It, it, it has been a while. It, it's definitely been a while. Well, I know it has happened. I just don't remember the last time it did. It, it, so that would ire, it would it would motivate teams even more, or even more than they already were because you know it's the World Cup. I mean it's the biggest competition in national football, obviously, with the Champions League being the biggest in in club football. Oh, well, speaking. Champions League, that was one hell of a final. Oh. Oh. Oh, I... Uh, you might come back to that later, but... I think that would... My idea is a good idea. You know, that way... Only the right countries would would host it. Only countries who could host it can would be able to host it. Then, Qatar, if they really did want to... Host it. Maybe they'd put a team together, find some players, and actually win it. They'd have to qualify then and fucking win it. But you see my process of thought here. Her. This would prevent and bids and corruption and bribes in a pocket. It th that would prevent all that because it would be totally up to who football. It would be totally up to. Ooh, the game itself. Oof. 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 It would be up to that. It would be up to the players themselves. Oof. Oof. That's who it should be up to. Ooh. Ooh. Because anyone with the with how corrupt FIFA uh, were and still are until at least someone new takes over the presidency he he he, he someone who's not corrupt up takes over the new pres the new president and and hopefully will uh sort out all the corruption and, but what it should be down to the football it should be down to whoever wins the world cup is whoever hosts it I think that's a good idea. You know, maybe you guys disagree. You let me know in the comment section below. Oh, I, I can't see a problem with it. I really can't because is then if you want to win the... If you want to host the World Cup, you win it. You know? Go there. Prove you're the best team in the world. Hold. That's why it's called the World Cup. Oh, because every country in the world that was good enough to qualify, he get through the qualify in group stages things that they have for like two, who's, who years beforehand, and, and and you get through the group stages at the competition itself, and then through the while well, the knockout stages and win the final, then you prove yourself not only the best, yes, but you earn the right. To host the next World Cup. I can't see what the problem would be if doing doing it that way. I really can't. I mean, yeah, you would only have four years to prepare for a cup. 
But most countries that actually are in the World Cup, kind of like Germany. Germany would have no problem hosting the 2018 World Cup. They have loads of great stadiums for the for the for the event. Hint. I mean, and you could have the final in the Allianz Arena. Imagine the World Cup final being in the Allianz Arena. If Germany ever hosts the next time Germany hosts the World Cup, the final will probably be in the Allianz Arena anyway. So you're just delaying the inevitable because we all know eventually Germany is going to get another World Cup. I mean, they I know they hosted, uh, I think, yeah, it was the 2006 World Cup. So they did host it recently. But they, ha- they didn't win the 2002 World Cup. Brazil did. Brazil should have hosted the 2006 World Cup. Up. Up. Then, there were been no problems. They would just have to build some stadiums. And do up some stadiums. Although the stadiums that had to be done up were only he needed to be done up recently. He, and they were probably flying back then. <laughs> I don't know. Le- leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you think it would be a good idea to have whoever wins the World Cup host the following World Cup? I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed a new host anyway every single year because, you know, every single World Cup because, you know, four years is a long time. I mean, Spain won the 2010 World Cup. Everyone thought they were going to win the 2014 World Cup. They went out and they got embarrassed. They didn't play well. They didn't, they weren't. Anywhere near the level that they used to be. They were nowhere near the level they were even two years before that at the Euros. They they looked completely different. It, I don't know what was wrong with Spain. I, I personally thought Spain would do well in the competition. They didn't get through the group. They didn't even get through the group. Oop. Oop. The defending champions didn't get through the group. Oop. And if... The World Cup had been in Spain like it it would have been if it was if the system was done the way I'm suggesting, and then the people of Spain would probably throw trash on the field, would hurl it at them for playing so badly. Hey. Just, it's just a suggestion because you know, I mean, I have nothing against Russia hosting it. I mean, there's no pro. I don't see any problems with Russia hosting it. I mean, if they have the stadiums for it, it. I mean, I uh, they've never won the World Cup, which uh would be my only issue, but. Sure, I'm not gonna win this match. I'm not gonna win this match. What the hell? Yes, no. Are you serious? That's it. Shit. Yeah. Fox, hey man, that is not a good start. I was all over West Brom as well. Shit. Anyway, uh... I didn't know you wanted more wages. When did you ask for more wages? Anyway, um... Anyway, leave your comments in the comment section below. I th- I think it's a good idea. I think, uh, without a doubt, uh, the World Cup should be hosted by the team that the country that wins it. You know, that way, no no 
countries that like Qatar will host it again or will will bribe their way into hosting it again we won't have that situation again and and that's I think personally that would be a good good thing for football well that's that would that would improve international football well I personally think think that should be the system for the Champions League as well whoever wins it it hosts the the final their their stadium would host the final the next year I mean Who wouldn't want to see a fine when the ch- I mean who who could deny that's a good idea? I mean you could deny it, but you you'd have a pretty shitty argument because I don't see how you would think that would be a bad idea. Anyway, it's just something I was thinking of, you know, something I wanted to talk about, uh, during my last, my first, uh, video, but, as I, it, it, I, got to turn on the mic. Luckily, it's on now. And, uh, I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I, uh, I didn't get that, uh, I didn't get the job done against West Brom. So I'm gonna have to focus against and so, and this is a big game. I mean, speaking of Champions League finals, I mean, who doesn't? What Liverpool fan, and what true Liverpool fan would forget our history with AC Milan? Not one final against them, two. Ooh, ooh, the incredible comeback of Istanbul, and the not so great. 2007 final. Let's forget that that ever happened. And thank you very much. But yeah. And, you know. Man, great team in history, you know. Oh, they're, they're, they're falling on hard times, you know. They seem to always lose their best players. You know, something Liverpool could relate to. You know, we lost Luis Suarez. And... Our season suffered because of it. You know, it wasn't just Suarez. It seems like Suar- the loss of Suarez did seem to affect the whole team for some reason. I don't know why, because it's not like he took all their, their skill with him. But apparently he did, because the rest, the rest of the team just seemed to not care for half the time. I mean, and when they did try and win... When they did win, man, you know they didn't really put up a fight for f- top four. I mean, you know, we were, we were, or close on a few occasions to to get into the top four and probably stay in there, you know. But the the, the performances near the end of the season, we don't even need to talk about. But uh, I'm I'm gonna n- not not talk too much about other things I want to focus on. This match because I think it was talking, it was a it was a over talking that cost me my game against uh, West Brom, and that's uh, two dropped points and that's not good. If you guys saw my uh, sporting career mode video on over the weekend, you guys know I also dropped points in that as well. I in that career mode. Oh, so yeah. to get into a good position and assert my dominance into this match so that doesn't happen. I'm really regretting that penalty miss. I'm starting to think I shouldn't let Eden Hazard take my penalties. I haven't scored one with him yet. The only reason he's taking I put him on penalties whenever I get one is is that he has the highest penalties. I think you know, he has the highest penalty. He's sure he's gonna score. 
Nope. He's missed every single one I've had with him so far, ever since signing him. It's a good thing he was a free transfer or I'd be pissed. This guy wasted money on him. I mean, he's, he always scores penalties for Chelsea. I don't think he's ever missed one for Chelsea. And if he has, he hasn't missed that many. Uh, there I go again. I'm talking more about per like football. Come on. Yes. Someone put the ball in. Killian. Killian. Jesus Christ, Killian. What kind of shot was that? For that matter, what stadium am I in? I don't recognize this stadium. I don't think this is the San Siro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for a free kick, mate. He. Rami. Jesus Christ. He's what a dumbass. I can't believe he did that. That was, that was going to be a free kick every day of the week. And it looks like Alassane... As Salasson will uh, get his chance to be perfect revenge. Nope. He won the free kick, but he just missed it. Yeah, it's just over the bar. Huh. So that's, that's disappointing. One, yes. Asandri is getting into position. Yes, Asasan. I don't know why I keep thinking his name is Asandri. No, I know there is a player called Asandri, but this is not him. This is a youngster I found in uh, Sweden from the same country as Ibla. He's not a bad little player. I don't know why I said no. Oh, he's freaking tall as hell. I think he's like six three, six Here he is again. But it sure is hit it's off a bate. Chambers Barnett. Whip it in. Error for glory. Ooh. That was close. Shoot! Yes! Oh! Ooh! Alves! Sorry, Lopez! I don't know why I say Alves. I'm thinking of uh, the... I th I'm thinking of Diego Alves. He's of uh, Valencia. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't know why. Ooh, there we go! You didn't say that one, did you, Lopez? Yeah, with your ball spot. It's a... Uh, hot... Hoss... Hooks... Hoss... <laughs> I can't say his name, I'm sorry. I can't say the striker's name either. Hey, look, it's Steven. What's up, Steven? How's it going? Pretty disappointing, I guess. Riaf. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cannot say his name or, the, or my striker's name. Say this guy's name, Stino Sharari Polly. Want to leave I'll try to get in by my defence. Not happening, my friend.
See, with a focused mind, I scored three past Milan. Look at our son, son. Dude, what are you doing? He ran away from the ball. Penalty. Really? You're just going to ignore that? I know I got one in the last game, but come on. That was probably more clearer. Although, Icardi was pretty much hacked. Icardi's legs were pretty much hacked from underneath him in the first game by the defender, or the West Brom defender. Yeah, let's 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 get back to focusing on this match. Come on, come on, yes! Ah, oh. how did I not get that? I really thought my player got there first. Okay, my f own players are fouling each other. Her, what are you two doing? Uh. Honda's gone off for Bon Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Although it's insane now. I barely noticed Honda was even on the field. I don't know if he got a touch of the ball. Or he's been that ineffective. If it's been all me. Which is uh, pretty much the case in almost every match I play. Letting know it's just too easy. I really hope they, they make Legendary a bit difficult or on FIFA 16. Better clapping the fact I have a corner. Even though it's 3 0. Ooh, very close to being 4 0. He wouldn't be clapping then. Good reflexes from uh, Lopez. Ooh, he didn't say that one. Divac Origi. He 4 0. And that's the, uh. That's this. Cup. Sealed. The Copa Europe is going to be mine. Once again. Those who follow me on Twitch action, you will know I've been simming the uh, the ones that not been on YouTube. But I figured since I was playing AC Milan, I would. I thought it would be a bit of a nostalgic trip. I thought since they won the Europa League, they'd maybe perf oh, give me some sort of challenge. I even played my second team. And they still couldn't put up a decent challenge. And I know I drew against West Brom 
Mm, th this is different. Hint. Hint. Some teams are just good on legendary. You know, it, it changes whenever it wants. Sometimes you could come up against the legendary and it seems like they're impossible to break down. You know, for some reason, I didn't score against West Brom. And like I said, I think it was down to the fact that I wasn't totally 100% concentrating, which is on me. Um, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's not like I can replay the game against West Brom. I mean, I'll I'll be playing them again in the later in the season. Um, you know, I could p come up against them in either the calling or the FA Cup. Heck, I could come up against them in both because they are in both. So, uh, I will play them at least one more time. So, I'll get my revenge for that draw then. But uh. I don't know uh, when I'll be, when I might get the chance to play Milan again. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is like the first time I've played them in this whole FIFA. In all of FIFA 15, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've played Milan. In, uh, in this career mode. And they'll be hoping it's the last, the trophy of Ran.